Hi everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. My name is Zach. In this video, we are looking at the Frog Nation imperiled in wake of a CFO scandal. If you have invested in this project, thought I would go over things that are happening. I personally am not involved in this project, never have been involved in this project, but I want this Web3 channel to hopefully be some level of resources for people who aren't sure what's going on with the project they're invested in. As usual, nothing in these videos is ever to be considered financial advice. Always do your own research. But with that being said, let's go through what's happening here and some updates as of before. There's just just weeks ago, Daniel Sessa was hailed as one of DeFi's golden boys. His Frog Nation, a collective on multi chain DeFi projects like Abracadabra, Wonderland, and Popsicle Finance, were scaling to new heights, and Abracadabra's innovative USD Dejun box strategy was the place to be for stablecoin yields. Earlier this week, Frog Nation made headlines by adding SushiSwap to its ecosystem, and Sessa vowed to clean up the struggling exchange. Now he's getting death threats from angry investors in the wake of revelations that Frog Nation CFO was a co founder of the defunct Canadian crypto exchange Quadriga CX, which collapsed in 2019, causing at least $190 million in investor losses. Today, I received at least 50 death threats from uh, Daniel Sester Twitter there. January has been kind of uh, kind to rebase, rebase tokens with Olympus DAO and its many forks suffering massive drawdowns amid the crypto sell-off. Wonderland has no except exception and by January 24, its time token had fallen to $800 from $3,500 at the beginning of the year. A popular strategy among time holders is to leverage their stake tokens using Abracadabra's DGen box in order to increase their exposure and resulting yield. This is referred to as the 9-9 strategy, a supercharged DGen version of 3-3. While the strategy paid off handsomely in 2021, as time soared, falling prices triggered a series of cascading liquidations. This refers to a vicious cycle in which users' collateral, of course, is liquidated and sold into, into an already weak market, exacerbating selling pressure with and fueling more liquidations. One such event took place on January 17, causing the price of time to fall from roughly 2,000 to under 1,000 USD. Naturally, many borrowers were liquidated by the swift 50% drop and the Wonderland team assured investor that the so-called backing price would be defended using treasury funds. Here we have 0x Sifu. It looks like we finally have an opportunity to test the buyback promise. Wonderland, Wonderland Fi several million has once again been used to buy below our backing price, returning the price to our intrinsic, intrinsic value. As a reminder, unlike most others, Wonderland buys at the backing price. But on January 25th, time plummeted to $360 from $800 in a matter of hours, well below the backing price. The buybacks didn't happen, and another cohort of borrowers were liquidated, including the founders themselves. In response the team announced the users who got liquidated behind them would be made whole either through buybacks if authorized by the DAO or with personal funds. Here we have a Twitter, sorry a Discord message saying the following I'm saying that I intend to make those who were liquidated under Danny and I well under backing price during these black swan events. If the DAO of votes against doing this using tokens and acquired via buybacks, we will do it using our own funds. This is a one-time thing. Then we're looking at Abracadabra Wonderland merger. A proposal was then floated to merge Wonderland with Abracadabra, citing operational synergies. It called for a buyout of the Wonderland treasury through a token swap of time memo tokens for 98 billion spell tokens. While the proposal initially garnered some support, recent forum posts show that it's now unlikely to materialize. Here we have a blog post it seems or forum post i did not know of the identity i am dealing with many anons and only saw the public track record i looked at it solely from a numbers point and had hoped we could use the additional funds to overcome the constant emissions in any case we'll try to bring out all the cool features we had already planned i'm excited about play to p2p and nft markets getting ready and all the small and large improvements on the existing product the most recent announcement in the Ab abracadabra discord server emphasizes that there are two separate entities at everyone the only efficient between abacadabra and wonderland fire is through the frog nation teams are separate our smart contracts and treasury are led by other multi-signers we are confident in our capabilities and look forward to building. Prominent DeFi investor Tetrano tweeted that he would continue to support Abacadabra as long as it remained an independent project. As long as the Abacadabra functions as a trust minimized smart contract, there should be no problem. Looking at the aftermath, investors have been exist exiting MIM Abacadabra stablecoin at a rapid pace. The MIM 3CRV pool on Curve is the primary source of MIM liquidity. Users can swap MIM for DAI, USDC, or USDT with minimal slippage thanks to Curve's 
stable swap algorithm coupled with an extremely high ampli amplification coefficient of 2000 prior to the good net to the news the pool was well balanced with 2.7 billion usd in liquidity and here is what it looks like now liquidity providers have accepted their positions in mass including 525 million usd reportedly from crypto hedge fund alameda research mim has it depegged but just by just two percent despite the sef the severe pool imbalance a testament to curves stable swap invariant of course it won't be able to stem the bleed the bleeding forever if more mim continues to be sold into the pool kind of carrier of jump finance has released a useful twitter twitter thread on the mechanics developer andre conje who expressed support for sister yesterday has removed a twitter banner that previously showcased a collaboration as well as swap a new project on the phantom blockchain as we can see right here the old banner is gone what this means for the future of v33 as the project is informally known remains to be seen and a disclosure is the author holds spell tokens and his time position was liquidated on january 25th with his fellow frogs looking at daniel sester's uh, specifically more recent tweets as in in the past few hours which this article was posted a couple days ago wonderland experiment is coming to an end it is clear from the vote that the community has divided the core and the heart of wonderland is still the community if we cannot find agreement on whether to continue or not it means that we failed the duty of the team is to enact the will of the token holders as the vote is so close to 50 50 there is only one path forward it is to reimburse unwind who does not feel to be part of wonderland and find a new home for who feels attached and in line with the frog nation vision i do not agree about continuing this experiment i am working with the team on a new proposal i game i came out to this realization because last night i've engaged with the community on discord and for the first time i've seen a less to toxic and more forward-looking environment this has gave me the will to find the supporters of mine a way out that is forward-looking many people have voted no with the belief that i share the same direction as sifu that is not the case i am not in any support of the actions that have been taken by sifu and discord i am with the team and i've worked on the proposal of winding down wonderland 2 at the time i believe that nobody wanted to have anything to do with me because of my mistakes the support that i've see, uh, seen has given me the strength to stand up and come up with a plan one that is ready to change the game of DeFi. when land might not come to an end but the frog nation lives that being said what are your thoughts on everything happening here would love to hear your take just hopefully this video gives you a bit more insight as to what happened if you were an investor in this and you're not sure what's going on hopefully this will give you some idea and some information that being said this is the web3 channel covering everything happening in the web3 space from crypto nft and metaverse news have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next web3 video